Bitches in number four. How low can you go? How low can you go? Too. Hello and welcome to another episode of Taking Shots, How to Take Shots the Classy Way. Today we are talking about my most recent addiction, Snapchat. I don't have television! I'm actually snapping right now. So I love Snapchat because I love recording all the hilarious moments of my day and then at night I just watch them and I'm like, ooh, I had such a good day. Snapchat would be brilliant for people with Alzheimer's. So since I've been told numerous times that I have the best snap around, my self-confidence is out the roof. I am prepared to help you so I can also have hilarious stories to watch of other people's because I can only laugh at myself so many times. So the reason I'm making this video is because somebody asked me to make this video and she was like, Asia, it's super awkward because you have to like hold the button down the whole time and you can't hold the side button. Pero, no it's for dad. You can hold it with the side button on the side. The side button on the side, that's where the side button goes. So her problem was that it's like an awkward, like you look funny when you do this. I have a solution for this. It's really awkward, yes, if you're like this, right? And you're like T-Rex arms. <laughs> oh my gosh. You just need to own it. You just need to literally put it out there and just show your arm in there. You're not trying to hide. And then I can see my cute outfit when I do that. You can just have somebody else snap for you. That's my number one tip, positioning. Have it out there. That's really cute. Except for if you're in Target and you don't want anybody to know that you're snapping. I snap every time I go to Target. I don't know why. Because I never know what's going to happen when I get in there. It's a surprise. So I just want you guys to, to see the whole journey. So I'm like, hello, I'm in Target. So my number two tip about Snapchat is lighting. So lighting is important in everything that we do with videos, but the thing about Snapchat is you can't really edit your, your photos, right? You have like those horrible, horrible filters that make you like blue or black and white, and I think those are your only options. So you need to have really good lighting with that. So what I do, I snap every time that I walk to Starbucks because there's like light shining behind me and it's so pretty. Okay, this is my third point. Yeah, what number are you on? I'm on three. The next thing, this is super important. Your Snapchat stories are stories, right? So I need you to tell me a story. And I know that it only lets you go for like 10 seconds, but you can make like a 10 second thing and then another 10 second thing and it can be a whole story all put together. Because I think stories are hilarious, aka why I'm watching the Snapchat story. If there's like a picture of your dog and then a picture of you like working out and then a picture of like, like the road trip, I'm like, this does not make sense. There's a plot missing error, error. Tell me a story. Why are you on the road trip? What is your dog doing? Also, my number four tip is I am a person too, okay? I know I'm just following you on Snapchat, but I am a human being. I need you to talk to me, directly to me. Cause I like feeling like we're friends. I think we're on number five. Speaking of the road tripping that I just talked about, if you must do the road trip snap because you feel that you have a quota of snaps that you need to fill or something, then have it be the filter that says where you are because otherwise I don't care. They change every time. With Sacramento, it was like red, white, and blue, and it was Sacramento, and it said Ooh. City of Trees. I was like, that's sick. That's really cool. So if there is no filter of the town that you're in, please don't post it. Unless it's like 4.34 a.m. If you also feel that you have to, must, are super obligated to post pictures of boring, nonsensical things, I need them to be there for one to three seconds. I posted some pictures yesterday that were two seconds long, and I was like, uh, it was like one Mississippi, two <laughs> Mississippi. <laughs> God, my subject stories are too long. And I know that I can just tap, but how was this or out, man? That was my number six tip. Make your photo short. Number seven. The text doesn't always have to be a description, like CJ wearing a hat. No, you can be funny. You're, you're cleverer than that. I see it in your soul. It's easy tip. That was easy tip, number seven. Number eight. Don't tell me about the weather. I live here also. I know what it's like outside. Unless it's like 4.30 in the morning, it's 82 degrees. Or it's like noon and it's two degrees. If it's not interesting, don't put it up. <sighs> number nine, I can't draw. <laughs> but if I did, I would find this very interesting. Did you know? You can make a white crayon or pencil and a black one too. That makes me so happy because the colors, I don't like the colors. Every time it's like automatic red, I'm like, ugh, I don't like the red one. So. If you go to the rainbow and you're like sliding, don't lift up your finger and just drag it over to the upper left hand corner. Voila! You have a white crayon. So cool. And then, if you do the rainbow thing again and you don't let go and you go down to the bottom, all the way to the bottom, it turns black. So if you're like really stressing about the fact that you had to choose a color, I have fixed all of your problems. Okay, most importantly, please Snapchat responsibly. But don't do a lot of driving. I wasn't going to say that. This means no naked snaps, okay? Don't naked snap your story. This is how to take shots the classy way, not the trashy way. That means you're a classy lady. I don't wanna see, I'm watching your story just innocently and there's like a picture of your food and a picture of a puppy and then of your stupid road trip and then boobs. 
I don't want that. I don't need to see anybody else's. Especially when there's like, ah, boo. Please don't do that. It's not classy. It doesn't look good. So those are just a few tips for your Snapchat. And I know that um, I can't help you be funnier. You're gonna have to do that all by yourself. But I have faith in you. I really do. And I think with these tips, I'm gonna be more interested in your stories. So really, this is a win-win situation. Now I have more interesting things to do at night. So I'm watch my own story. Feels like a little like self-obsessive. <laughs> I have 6,369 points. What does that even mean to have points? So if you would like to follow me on Snapchat because I'm the funniest Snapchatter that you don't know yet, I am not very modest. You may follow me, Asia Croson. That's my first and last name together with no spaces. I will follow you back because now I know that you are going to follow these tips and that I will like your story. Thank you so much for joining me on another episode of Taking Shots, How to Take Shots the Classy Way, where today, don't forget, we learned how to snap the classy way. And I hope you guys have a fabulous freaking day. I would like to thank my sponsor Trent, who showed me that my Snap followers are also people. Dun it, dun it, dun it, dun it, dun it. <laughs> it's funny, but you don't snap enough. I need quality and quantity.